In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning and welcome to the Shrine and Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. As we prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, we call to mind our sins, and we ask God's mercy and forgiveness. In all humility, all together we say, I confess to Almighty God and, and to you, my, my brothers and sisters, sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. To my fault, to my fault, to my most grievous fault, therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray, pray for, for me, me to the, to the Lord, Lord God. our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, may no earthly undertaking hinder those who set out in haste to meet your Son, but may our learning of heavenly wisdom gain us admittance to his company, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. The prophet Baruch portrays Jerusalem as a mother longing to gather her children from exile. Jerusalem is invited to stop mourning because God will make her children return to her. A reading from the book of the prophet Baruch. Jerusalem, take off your robe of mourning and misery. Put on the splendor of glory from God forever. Wrapped in the cloak of justice from God, bear on your head the mitre that displays the glory of the eternal name. For God will show all the earth your splendor. You will be named by God forever the peace of justice, the glory of God's worship. Up, Jerusalem, stand upon the heights, look to the east and see your children, gathered from the east and the west at the word of the Holy One, rejoicing that they are remembered by God. Led away on foot by their enemies, they left you, but God will bring them back to you, born aloft in glory as on royal thrones. For God has commanded that every lofty mountain be made low, and that the age old depths and gorges be filled to level ground, that Israel may advance secure in the glory of God. The forests and every fragrant kind of tree have overshadowed Israel at God's command. For God is leading Israel in joy by the light of his glory, with his mercy and justice for company. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. When the Lord brought back the captives of Zion, we were like men dreaming. Then our mouth was filled with laughter, and our tongue with rejoicing. The Lord has the great things for us, we are filled with joy. Then they said among the nations, The Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us. We are glad indeed. The Lord has done great things for us. We are filled with joy. Restore our fortunes, O Lord, like the torrents in the southern desert. Those who sow in tears shall reap rejoicing. All 
though they go forth weeping, carrying the seed to be sown, they shall come back rejoicing, carrying their sheaves. The Apostle Paul encourages the Christians of Philippi to be pure and blameless for the day of Christ. The Christian faith, lived in joy and faithfulness, is the best preparation for Christ's coming. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, I pray always with joy in my every prayer for all of you because of your partnership for the gospel from the first day until now. I am confident of this, that the one who began a good work in you will continue to complete it until the day of Christ Jesus. God is my witness, how I long for all of you with the affection of Christ Jesus. And this is my prayer, that your love may increase ever more and more in knowledge and every kind of perception, to discern what is of value, so that you may be pure and blameless for the day of Christ, filled with the fruit of righteousness that comes through Jesus Christ, for the glory and praise of God. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. Alleluia, Alleluia. Prepare the way of the Lord, make straight his paths. All flesh shall see the salvation of God. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. In the fifteenth year of the reign of Tiberius Caesar, when Pontius Pilate was governor of Judea, and Herod was tetrarch of Galilee, and Shabadu Philip tetrarch of the region, during the high priesthood of Annas and Caiaphas, the word of God came to John, the son of Zechariah, in the desert. John went throughout the whole region of the Jordan, proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins, as it is written in the book of the words of the prophet Isaiah. A voice of one crying out in the desert, Prepare the way of the Lord, make straight his paths. Every valley shall be filled, and every mountain and hill shall be made low. The winding road shall be made straight, and the rough ways made smooth, and all flesh shall see the salvation of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Tayo po ngayon ay nasa ikalawang linggo sa panahon ng Adbiento. Ang Adbiento ay panahon ng paghahanda para sa pagdating ng ating Panginoon. At uh, bilang bahagi ng paghahanda na yan, ay uh, pinapabasa sa atin ang ikalawang bahagi ng liham na pinapabasa sa lahat ng misa, sa lahat ng simbahan ngayong linggo dito sa Arts Diocese ng Linggayan Dagupan. Ang pamagat ng liham ay paglaban sa kasamaan ng vote buying. Mga minamahal ko, mga kapatid, sa kalawang linggo ng Adviento, patuloy ang panawagan ni Juan Bautista na magbago. Patagin ang mga bundok na bumubulag at humahadlang. Patagin ang mga bako-bako na dahilan upang tayo madapa. At pangunahin sa mga bundok at bakubakong daan ay ang korupsyon sa lipunan. Ang sabi ni Papa Francisco tungkol sa korupsyon, ang korupsyon ay hindi matitigil kung tatahimik lamang tayo. 
Dapat tayo magsalita laban dito. Dapat isigaw ng mali ang korupsyon. Dapat maghari ang mercy at compassion laban sa selfishness. Pwedeng maging dakila kahit walang pera. Gasgas na ang makatagang vote wisely at vote according to your conscience. Tama pa rin pero hindi na pinapakinggan. Naging wais ang wise. Iniwan na ang konsyansya, ang Diyos at gumawa na ang mga kandidato ng sariling sampung utos nila. Paano na? Ano ang dapat gawin ng katolikong botante kapag inaalok ng pera ng kandidato? Itong the best. Kung may magbigay ng pero ayuda at hingin ang boto mo, tumanggi ka. Magalit at magsumbong. Kapag ginawa mo ito, maliwanag ang mensahe mo. I am not for sale. Hindi ako bayaran. Hindi mo ako kayang bilhin. Tigilan mo yan. Pero kung may matinding pangangailangan, tulad ng gutom o bingit ng kamatayan, at bigyan ka ninuman ng walang hinihingin kapalit, tanggapin bilang gift sa iyo. Ngunit huwag sumamba sa kandidatong nagdidiyos-diyosan. Huwag mabahala na hindi iboto ang nag-abot ng pera o ayuda. Boss ka nila, hindi member ng fans club, at talong hindi ka alipin. Wala kang pananagutan o patuparin ang usapang marka ng demonyo. Mayroon din namang mga walang kahiyan na sinasabi habang tumutulong, tumutulong daw na iboto sila. Kapag ganito ang sitwasyon, bilang mabuting katoliko, tumanggi. Trust God, natutulungan ka niya sa ibang paraan. Kapag tinanggap ang tulong, sabay ng bulong na iboto mo ako. Baka maging bad example ka para sa iba. Baka gayahin ka nila. May awa ang Diyos. Tanggihan mo. Bahala na ang Diyos na tutulong sa iyo. Huwag kang kumapit sa patalim. Masusugatan ka. Sa totoo lang, nagsisimula na ngayon pa lang, ang ilan ay nakakatanggap na ng ayuda bago pa man magsimula ang campaign period. Hindi ito maagang tulong. Ito ay maagang korupsyon. Ang sipag nilang mamingwit sa mga kababayang hirap sa buhay, nagsisimula na. Tamang sinabo ni Bishop Pablo David, kung hindi tatanggapin ng mga mahirap ang pera na inaalok sa kanila ng mga bumibili ng boto, yun ay parang pag-amin na iba ang kursonada nila. May banta pang kasunod sa pamilya kapag tumanggi. Sa katunayan, kapag tinanggihan nila ang alok, minsan ay inaalok pa sila ng mas malaking halaga para lamang pigilan sila sa pagboto. Lagi na lang talo ang mahihirap. Pero may last, may last judgment at alam yan ng Diyos. Pinalaya ka ng Diyos sa pagkaalipin sa kasalanan, huwag kang muling paalipin sa kandidatong korap. Ipakulong ang mga boat buyer. Palayain ang konsensya mo. Tanggapin ang pera at bumoto sa korsonada. Pigilin ang perang pinambibili sa boto mo. Di ba may sinasabi sa atin? Sa bayang walang paalipin, walang mga alipin. Sa bayang walang manduloko, walang manduloko. Kung walang boat seller, walang boat buyer. 
ugaling Pinoy ang utang na loob. Kaya lang kailangan lumugar ang kaugaliang ito dahil naligaw ng kahulugan nito. Sana maliwanagan tayo. Ano bang relasyon ng mga kandidato at politiko sa atin? Tayo, lalo na mga mahirap, ang kanilang mga boss. May utang na loob sila sa atin kaya sila nasa posisyon. Empleyado natin sila mula sa mga taxes natin. Ang political party ay hindi fans club, hindi beauty pageant. At lalo hindi ito film festival. Civil servant sila. Silang utusan at hindi tayo. Ang vote wire ay mga kriminal. Wala tayong utang sa kanila. Sila ang may utang na dapat bayaran ng kanilang paglilingkod sa atin. Kung hindi natin papakulong dahil maliliit na tao lamang tayo, huwag nang iboto para matalo. Turuan sila, turuan natin sila ng leksyon. Pag natalo ang vote buyer, nakaganti ka na sa pang-insulto niya sa iyo. Huwag matakot sa banta na malalaman kung sinong binoto mo. Dahil sa computerized ang election, ikaw lamang nakakaalam ng boto mo. Dahil automated ang election, walang paraan pang malaman kung sino ang bumoto para kanino. Bawal gumawa ng kopya ng balota mo. Safe and secret balot mo sa computerized voting. Alam ng Diyos, nakikita ng Diyos, at hindi natutulog ang Diyos. Kung may vote buyer, patulong kayo sa Paris Peace ninyo at sa mga legal assistant desk ng PPCRB. Isumbong. Manindigan, be a proud Catholic Filipino. Kung may makulong na boat buyer dahil tumistigo ka, kabayanihan yan. Tigilan na ang boat buying. Sa tulong ng Diyos at tapang ng loob, baguhin natin ang politika. Hindi naman tayo dating ganito eh. Kaya lang, lumalala ang boat buying bawat eleksyon. Kasi, walang nahuhuli. Walang nakukulong. Sa pagitan ng dalawang nagumpugang bato, dapat nating palayain ang mga duka na pasang krus ang vote buying. Kapag tumanggi, pinagbabantaan kung bumoto pag nanakawan. Talo lagi ang mga mahihirap. Magpalakas loob mula sa turo ni Pope Francis sa kanyang liham, Fratelli Tutti. Sabi niya, ang politika ay isang bagay na mas marangal kaysa sa pagpapapapel, pambobola at survey spin. Ang dulot ng mga ito ay division, kompetisyon at siraan. Sa pagtanda, sa paglingon natin sa kahapon at paglapit sa kamatayan, ang mga tanong ay hindi. Ilang tao nag-endorso sa akin? Ilan ang bumoto sa akin? Ilan ang pokey points ko? Ilang beses akong nanalo? Ang disturbing at painful question ay, gaano kalaki ang pagmamahal na binigay ko sa aking trabaho, sa aking kapwa, sa aking bayan? Anong ginawa ko para sa ikuunlad ng aking bayan at ng aking kapwa. Ano ang marka ko? Marka ba ng Diyos? O marka ng demonyo? Sitayo po tayo. At ipahayag natin ang ating pananampalataya. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made consubstantial with the Father, to Him all things were made. For as men and for our salvation, He came down from heaven, 
and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Longing for the Lord's coming, let us now turn to our Heavenly Father, to help us prepare the way of the Lord, and full of confidence we pray. And our response is, Lord, graciously hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For church leaders and missionaries, may they have the zeal and courage to go out of their comfort zones and reach out to those who are in the peripheries. We pray. Lord, graciously hear us. For government officials and those who are in public office, May they shun corruption and their selfish interest and promote peace, justice, love, and equality instead. We pray. Lord, graciously hear us. For the victims of the COVID-19 pandemic, may they find healing and spiritual nourishment from the true healer, Jesus Christ, our Savior. We pray. Lord, graciously hear us. For our handicapped brethren, and those who are suffering from AIDS, may they have recourse and consolation in their God who is always with us in prayer. We pray. Lord, graciously hear us. For our Pope, the College of Bishops, parents, relatives, benefactors, and for all those whom we promise to pray, we pray. Lord, graciously hear us. For those who have left the order, and for the Dominican family, and the family of our brothers, we pray. Lord, graciously hear us. For the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary of Manawag and for our personal intentions. We pray. Lord, graciously hear us. For our departed brothers and sisters may enjoy the company of the Christ with his angels and saints in God's kingdom. We pray. Lord, graciously hear us. Heavenly Father, level the mountains of our pride and hate, so that love and forgiveness may truly reign in our hearts as we await the coming of Christ, your Son and our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. 
Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for a good and a good of all His holy church. Be pleased, O Lord, with our humble prayers and offerings, and since we have no merits to plead our cause, come, we pray, to our rescue, with the protection of your mercy, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly really right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God through Christ our Lord. For he assumed but his first coming, the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago and opened for us the way to eternal salvation that when he comes again in glory and majesty and all is at last made manifest we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope and so with angels and archangels with thrones and dominions and with all the hosts and powers of heaven we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O oh Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, 
giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Archbishop, Fidelis, his auxiliary bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Please stand. Now, in loving confidence, we pray to our Father in the words Christ taught us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Do not look on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with yours, we offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you.
please kneel. Here is Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Please kneel. We will now pray the prayer for the elections. Let us pray that the forthcoming national and local elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides the destinies of nations. Let us pray together. Our response is, Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord. From coercion, intimidation, violence, and terrorism. Deliver us, Lord. From dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver us, Lord. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy, conspiracy or fraud. Deliver us, Lord. From the deceptive and blindness of perspective. Deliver us, Lord. From threats of intimidation and perverse language deliver us lord let us pray together our response is hear us lord hear us lord that conscience may always be our ultimate norm hear us lord that the common good may always be our highest goal hear us lord that human dignity may be respected all the time Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord. That care for creation may never be ignored. Hear us, Lord. That solidarity may guide the path of peace and development. Hear us, Lord. That genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, Politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others, and a chance to grow in holiness. 
guide our politics as you guide our lives. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us to grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Replenished by the food of spiritual nourishment, we humbly beseech you, Lord, that through our partaking in this mystery, you may teach us to judge wisely the things of the earth and hold firm to the things of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pagdalo at pakikiisa sa banal na misa. Pag-ingat po kayo lagi, tayo lagi kayong pagpalain ng ating Panginoon at ng ating mahal na ina. Hanggang sa muli po. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration of the Mass is ended. Go to love and to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Prayer for the blessing of the sick. God. God, our Almighty Father. May po sa dasal nato, lalahanin natin yung mga may sakit natin, mga mahal sa buhay. Hindi lang yung ating sarili, pero yung iba na paring mas matindi ang kanilang naramdaman. Ang mga nagka-COVID, ang uh, mga nasa ospital, ang mga naiwan sa ating tahanan, ang mas hirap kaysa sa atin. Isama po natin sila sa dasal na ito. God our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health. To the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. We ask this through Christ, our Lord. Amen. Prayer for the blessing of religious articles. So may mga pabindisyonan po, mangyari po lamang na pakitaas ng mga pabindisyonan po ninyo. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, and Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, May these rosaries, candles, images, oils, capulets, crucifixes, prayer books, and other articles of devotion be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.